Hi everyone, this video clip is an extension to uh, another two video clip that I had uploaded into my YouTube channel and in this video clip I will only explain and describe the assumptions. The assumptions are the criteria and the conditions that required to be uh, met before doing or performing or conducting the Chris Carl Wallace test. So there are already two video clips describing the background and the theory behind the test and how to perform the test in SPSS using an example of data. Uh, and I will give you the link to this in the description box and I also I'll leave it at the end of the this uh, presentation in the last slide the test is ranking data and it is based on non-parametric test so it is non-parametric test that rank data and put them into rank so it's called one way ANOVA on ranks the test determines statistically dif significant differences between three or more groups of independent variable. So you have three groups or more, and these groups, uh, three groups or more have a variable in it. That variable is called dependent variable, and that dependent variable can be either continuous, continuous, but it is not normally distributed, or ordinal, variable ordinal is it means that the data are in order so it is a non-parametric data so the test is a non-parametric this ordinal dependent variable can be i.e an example for it is a likert scale so it can be used to compare groups in questionnaires uh, in, in which you have five or seven point likert scales i had already produced and uploaded a video clip describing the point Likert scale. So if you are interested in learning more about the ordinal data from the Likert scale, please do uh, follow my the link to my channels and it will be one of the in one of the videos I already have there. And before so thus thus it's mean that your data either has to be continuous, the dependent variable continuous or ordinal, and ordinal can be a Likert scale. So this, this test can be really useful for those who are doing a survey and a questionnaire and they want to analyze part of their data that are non-parametric, then Chris Carl Wallace test is the one to choose. If the data fulfill four assumptions, so before performing the test, you need to make sure that four assumptions are met and are not violated. These assumption, assumptions are the first one, that you have one dependent variable. And this one dependent variable can be either one or two, can be ordinal. And I've just described what does ordinal mean. Ordinals mean variable in order one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, D, and so on. Such as I gave an example of five or seven point Likert scale. Or the variable, the dependent variable, is a continuous variable. It can be interval or ratio, but it is not normally distributed, or it has an outlier or outliers that deviate the distribution from normality. So then the, your data, the data will be non-parametric. And that is one of the assumptions that has to be fulfilled to carry the test, carry out or perform the test. Another assumption is that you, your, another independent variable have to, has to be nominal. Nominals mean group categories. So it, is, is it, is, it has to be three or more categories. Um, and you have three or more categories in your data to perform the test. So you have nominal, nominal variables, i.e. categories, and which is independent, and dependent variable, which is 
either can be ordinal or continuous. Example of categories, ethnicity of individuals, professions of individual individuals, like doctor, dentist, nurses, and so on. Third assumption is that there is an independence of observation. So there is no paired sample. Each participant is taking part in only one group. The fourth assumption is that has to be met that the distribution shape for all the group need to be the same. So if the distribution of the data in each group have similar shape, similar variability, use median to compare the difference between groups. If it has different shape, use mean ranks to compare differences between groups. The way to examine and look at the data shape is to use the histogram and box plot. Looking at histogram and box plot will give you an an idea of the distribution of the data within the groups you have, whether it's three or more. Now, for this test, we have to generate a hypothesis, and the hypothesis test is that, the, or the null hypothesis is that testing is that the shape of the distribution or shapes of distribution between groups are equal. The alternative hypothesis, the distribution are not equal. Again, if again the, the test will perform uh, the analysis and we get a p-value. And if the p-value is less than 0.05, we reject the null hypothesis and then we accept the alternative. And the alternative is that there is a significant difference between groups uh, compared. To finish up here, I had generated a two examples of data that can be used to do used in Kerskal Wallace test, i.e., this data fit perfectly for the Kerskal Wallace test. And this is just some of the data, not the whole data. So as as I took part of the data and placed it in the left table and the one on the right table. In the left table here, we have two two, two variables. The first variable is called independent variable which is a group variables, which is professions, individual, either surgeon, nurses, dentists, and so on. So there are three groups. And on the next column to it, it's a dependent variable. The dependent variable is an ordinal. An ordinal variables mean that the data in it are in order from one to five. One strongly disagree, five strongly agree. So this is a Likert scale. So this data, we have here data that independent variable is nominal and uh, the dependent variable is Likert scale or ordinal. So this data can fulfill the assumptions for Kreskal Wallace test. And it can, can be, Kreskal, the test can be used to find the difference, significant difference, if there is a significant difference between the groups. Now, on the right-hand side table, we have again the same independent variable, the group or grouping according to profession, surgeon, nurses, and dentist. And next to it, a column of variable, dependent variable. But in this case, the variable here is continuous variables, numerical, ratio or an interval, such as the weight of a persons or per per peoples. So we have here the weight for the surgeon, the nurses, and dentists. These data are continuous. So we have here a nominal data, independent variable, and a continuous data of the weight. However, the data here is not normally distributed. distributed. Why? Because we have an outliers, which is an extreme value in the surgeons and in the dentist. So uh, group. So this Again, these data, it, with using this data, with this condition of the data, it is possible to use the test as it will fulfill the assumption for the test as you have one nominal uh, independent variable and one continuous, continuous de variable, dependent variable that are not normally distributed. 
So these are the conditions that the data can be uh, can be uh, used to do Kreskal Wallace on them uh, if they fulfill the, the assumptions described previously. To get more information and to get more knowledge and experience in using SPSS and statistics, do please follow my YouTube channels as given here or as it's given in the description box. And there are, these are the two Chris Carl Wallace tests I had already generated and uploaded into my YouTube channel. If you are interested in this test and to use it whether in, uh, in analyzing your uh, questionnaire or in another data, uh, ordinal data, then this is the link to use. And I also play, place this uh, link in, my, uh, in the description box. If you like the channel then please do uh, click on the like icon subscribe and click on the notification bell to get uh, really updated and released video clips on my 